Apologies, but the remote docking procedure isn't quite finished. You're a Sith. But not your enemy. Not today. Now, are you interested in a ride back, or would you prefer to swim? Sith or not, I won't turn down a helping hand. I do appreciate a pragmatic mind. <coughs> and there we are. Your transportation is ready. Safe travels. I think it might put everyone at ease if you ditch the lightsaber. Is that really necessary? Surely I'm not as intimidating as you imply. If we just spend some time together, I bet we could come to an understanding. I'm confident we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the days to come. Lana Benico, dedicated Imperial citizen and fully armed Sith Lord. But you don't need to worry about that. It truly is a relief to see you safe. I only wish we had more time together. I'm not going anywhere, Lana. You don't have to either. I'm afraid I do. Theron and I learned some troubling things after we escaped Rakata Prime. Jakaro took it better than I thought. You told her yet? I think it's best if you do the honors. We'll meet again soon. I'm certain of it. Hey there. Anna, you're the ones behind all of this? Guilty as charged. Sorry if we put you out, but we had to be cautious. The Revanites have gone to increasingly severe lengths to hunt us down since we destroyed their operations on Rakata Prime. We had to get you here to help us without leaving a trail. Sorry we couldn't be more direct. After so long, I started to think you'd run back to the Empire without even saying goodbye. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. All right, let's focus here. Hey there. I don't know if you guys have heard, but the Red Hulls just completely trashed a Nova Blade supply cache. I understand the main suspect is being described as skilled and extremely attractive. Nice work. I believe one more assault on the Nova Blade's holdings should be enough to solidify our pirate feud and disguise our true goal. One of the Blades mentioned a slave camp. Do you know anything about it? We do. You remember me saying that the Nova Blades basically run things around here? For the most part, they're pretty hands-off. But if someone stands up to them or fails to pay their fees to live here, the Blades grab them and ship them off to the slave camp. The slaves are a substantial part of the Nova Blades' income, both through their labor in hazardous mines and as merchandise for off-world slave traders. According to our information, the slaves are kept on a remote island under heavy guard. Do you think you can manage to free them? You really aren't like other Sith, are you? I like to think I'm my own woman. Since we don't know the island's exact coordinates, your best bet is to stow away in one of the shipping containers the Nova Blades take out there. Once you reach the slave camp, you can catch them by surprise, break up the security, and free as many as possible. Certainly nothing a daring star pilot can't handle, yes? You should hurry back. Despite what we overheard earlier, the Revanites could show up at any moment to try and help their allies. Besides, I think we've earned a bit of a celebration. And you said planning a party would be getting ahead of ourselves. Do forgive my basic sense of caution. Welcome back. You've achieved more in your short time here than we ever thought possible. You should be proud. I think seeing that smile of yours is a much better achievement for the day. <laughs> now you're just teasing me. Revanites. Some from the Republic, some from the Empire. I think you're right. I'm still going over the data Theron decoded from the Nova Blades. Go to those camps and interfere any way you can. Save the reading for later. It'd be nice to have you along for once. I'd like to, but I really don't think you'll need my help. My time is better spent here. May the Force serve you well. Theron. We can talk on the way to Yavin. I have some business to finish here. Thank you for your help. All of you, this can't have been easy. The conspiracy is finally exposed. We've been hiding our actions from our allies for so long, it's a relief to have everything in the open. So we can talk about how you threw me to the wolves now? I made a calculated strategic decision, and it worked, as we can all see now. And if you had talked to me about it, I would have volunteered. But you didn't even give me a choice. We couldn't risk the Revanites knowing that your capture was a ploy. You had to be in the dark for the plan to work. 
If the Revanites knew your capture was staged, they would have killed you, and we wouldn't have learned Revan's plan. Hiding the truth was probably the best option. We've got exactly one professional spy in this group. I could have handled it. I think it's time we moved on. Yavin is a long way from here. Agreed. Let's get moving. Lana? Stay a moment. We should talk. Of course. Enjoy your trip to Yavin! This is quite a mess I've made, isn't it? The wicked Sith can't be trusted. Just the sentiment we need right now. I wouldn't be spending so much time around you if I couldn't stand a little bit of intrigue. Makes sense. The moments we've shared, the connection between us, it's very important to me. I would never want to lose your trust. My strength flows from the passions I embrace, my service to the Empire, and you. You're very important to me, Lana. Our time together has meant a lot. But that won't matter in the long run, will it? This truce won't last forever. Even if we succeed, the war won't end. There's no future for us. I'm not ready to give up, are you? Mm. Not yet. But time is not our ally. We should hurry along. Master Satil's techniques are interesting and rather effective, I must admit. I think we'll have the information we need very soon. I want you to know I advised against Mars plan with the guard facility. We've come so far together. I'd hate to see that progress ruined by territoriality. Are you worried about keeping the truce together or were you thinking more about the two of us? Both, I suppose. Well, our time has come. Even sooner than I'd feared. Revan is gone. We've accomplished what we set out to do. But now we have an entirely new problem. And no truce to face it. I'm not afraid of the Emperor. He'll be taken care of soon enough. I wish I shared your optimism. What's next for the galaxy's most notorious smuggler? After everything that's happened, I imagine you're even more in demand than ever. I was figuring we'd be going on a tour of the galaxy's finer hotspots. If only. I'm not at all sure what my future holds. But the future doesn't have to start for a while yet. For now, I'd like to make the most of the present. There's nothing I'd like more. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you too, Lana. Farewell. Back already, huh? Guess I should be flattered. So my senses haven't betrayed me. It really is you. Lana Bonico. You're the last person I expected to find here, Captain. It's nice to see a friendly face. I've missed you. I'm trying to avert a mass catastrophe while keeping the most powerful mind in the galaxy out of my head. I, I, I can't think about that. What was that thing? We've been calling them monoliths. I promise I wasn't eavesdropping. Just wanted to warn you. We've seen several of those creatures appearing throughout New Adasta. They're made from Sith alchemy, a sign of Vitiate's growing power. Extremely strong, next to impossible to kill. The one you just defeated is the smallest we've come across. I think you were eavesdropping. I think you can't stop thinking about me. I would hope you're joking, except this is hardly the time for it. And by the way, do look behind you.
You've made it. Good. Time is short. So is reliable assistance. As if I don't have enough to contend with, Agent Kovac has gone missing. We'll have to do without him, so I've reached out to another ally. Are you in position? Yeah, but this setup isn't anything like what you described. So what you're saying is you can't figure it out? Don't get all... I'll figure it out. We're about to begin, so that would be nice. What exactly are we about to begin, Lana? You're going to make Fischett angry. So angry that he'll place all his attention on killing you. When the time comes, you'll lead him to an electrostatic weapon stored here in the heart of New Adasta. It's meant to be a last resort against major civil uprisings, but Theron's modifying it to be non-lethal. With the reduced charge, its radius of impact will diminish. You have a weapon designed with the sole purpose of killing your own people? It's not as if we install one in every metropolis. We nearly lost New Adasta to unrest once before. Well, in that case... Shall we get started? Look at who you're scaring. Slim pickings, you ask me. Even I'm not scared of you. How pathetic is that? I don't know, maybe you're overcompensating for something? I think that did it. I have to go now. There's much to be done. Too much. I shouldn't have come here, truth be told. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Even under these circumstances, it's nice to be wrong. That it is. May the Force serve you well. <laughs>